Well, if we quit judging God and ascertaining God by people, we'd figure out pretty soon what the will of God is and quit worrying about what all's happening out here. He said he's not willing that any should perish, but all would come to repentance. Now, here's another story. Is all coming to repentance? Well, it looks like if it was the will of God and it was going to happen, if that's what he wanted, looks like all would come to repentance. If he's not willing that any one of those should perish, then, then what, why are they perishing? Should we ascertain the will of God by these people? And say, well, see, they didn't. That they went all their lifetime. And they had opportunity after opportunity. And they wouldn't give their heart to Jesus. And they died. And according to the Bible, they're not going to make it. Now, was that the will of God? If we ascertain the will of God by this person, we'll say, well, that was the will of God for him because it didn't happen. Somebody says, I wish you'd preach the word. I am preaching the word. Maybe you just ain't listening. <laughs> well, you know, I want 15 scriptures. Maybe you don't need them. Maybe you need to hear what I'm telling you. Huh? <clears throat> Maybe some of us need to be more led by the Spirit of God and talk about things that are, that are needful and important. Hmm? Hmm? And know how to be led. Know how to talk from the inner man. Know how to talk when the Holy Spirit's got His hand on your inner man. And say, yeah, that's what, that's what I want this morning. That's what I want. I want you to tell them to quit ascertaining the will of God by what's happening out here, but ascertain it by the Word of God and believe what God said in His Word. That's the will of God. Praise God. Glory to God. Now, I don't feel like I'm jumping. I'll tell you I'm not. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's not, that's not my purpose. <coughs> But brother so-and-so, he was a good man. Praise God for brother so-and-so. I told you. Well, they prayed for him. Well, there's a whole lot of praying going on, ain't doing nothing. No offense to the prayers. There's a whole lot of praying going on that they ain't accomplishing nothing. Would you agree to that? Amen. Amen. Somebody, somebody said one time, said, now, now listen to this, this will bless you if you want to be blessed this morning, if you want to hear something. Woman come to him, and he said, and she asked him, said, said, uh, said, tell me why the word don't work. So tell me why the word of God don't work. Well, that ain't so. I said, that ain't so. She said, well, the Word of God does work. She said, no, it don't. He said, yes, it does. She said, no, it don't. He said, yes, it does. She said, no, it don't. He said, yes, it does. She said, no, it don't. He said, yes, it does. He said, what makes you say that? He said, well, I'm sick. He said, they prayed for it and I'm still sick. I went to church, I called for the elders, they prayed for me and I'm still sick. He said, well, sister, let's look at this a little bit. You, you're sick right now. Yeah, I'm sick right now. You called for the elders of the church, like the Bible said, and they prayed over you, anointed you with oil. Yeah, they prayed over me, anointed me with oil. Laid hands on me. And you're still sick. And I'm still sick. I said, well, sister, I don't know if the Word of God works. They said, well, let's 
Let's look at this again. He said, you, you, you're sick. Yeah, I'm sick. She said, I'm sick. You called for the elders of the church. Yeah, I called for the elders of the church. They prayed over me. They anointed me with oil. And nothing happened. I'm still sick. Now tell me why the word of God don't work. He said, well, sister, let's look at it one more time here. Take her time. Go through it again. You called for the elders of the church, yeah. And they laid hands on you, yeah. They anointed you with oil, yeah. They prayed the prayer of faith for you, yeah. And you're still sick, yeah, still sick. 